Hey, it is the first week of September and I am here in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. And guess what? We have not had rain in it seems like forever, at least a couple of months. And, and I grew up here, so I know better. I know that come July, there's not going to be any rain and it's going to get very hot until sometime in September. And what happens is our grass goes brown. I had a relative come in from England one time and she said, is it just brown grass and concrete in Texas? See, she thought our grass was dead, but our grass doesn't die. Our grass knows how to survive in the middle of a drought and it goes brown. It's dormant. And then we get a couple of days of rain and boom, green over here, green over there, green in our yards. The grass now is thriving. The rain makes it thrive way better than watering it with a sprinkler does. Now, since March, when this pandemic began, I've talked to people who feel dry, who feel lonely, who feel anxious and depressed. They're just dormant. They're shut down and it's driving them nuts. What they miss more than anything is they, they miss being around people. And many people of faith have been away from their church families, their community of faith, the place where they worship God together and are encouraged by others for six months. Now, just like there's an answer for dormant grass, there's also an answer for dormant, dried up Christians who are struggling. Listen to Psalm 133. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Now, how good and pleasant it is, that doesn't sound depressed. It doesn't sound anxious. It doesn't sound lonely. It sounds good, right? Good and pleasant when we're together. In verse 2, it says, it's like the precious oil that's poured down on the head, running down the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. Now, back in those days, when, when someone was uh, made a priest, they would be anointed. They'd be anointed with oil that would drip down them, and that would represent the Holy Spirit coming down and covering them up and making them that person, anointing them to be that priest. You know, as Christians, Scripture says that the day we become Christians, we become priests. We become part of God's priesthood, representing Him here on earth. So this, this unity, when we come together and when we worship and when we encourage one another, it's precious. It's like the precious oil. It's the Spirit coming down on us. And then in verse 3, it says, it's like the rain. <laughs> he says, it's like the rain on dormant grass. He actually says, it's like the dew of Hermon or falling down the mountain. For there the Lord bestows His blessing. So when we're in community with each other, we're worshiping God together, we're, we're encouraging one another to be God's people, then what happens is, is God puts His blessing on us, even life forevermore. We come out of dormancy into thriving, a thriving life. We go from brown to green. What do you think about that? Hey, my name is Royal. I'm pastor of Life Connection Church in Euless, Texas. Can I pray for us? Some of you right now are struggling. And if you have a prayer request, there's a link in this video where you can send me a prayer directly and I'll pray for you. And I'll even send you an email back and let you know that I've done that. Heavenly Father, I'm glad we're starting to gather again as your children. Please keep us healthy emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Lord, I pray that we not take for granted the time that we spend together. Lead us back to commitment of coming together to worship you and encourage one another. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope this blesses you. I hope you get back to church. God bless.